Hi everybody, my name is Eric and I'm from CatGS team. Uh, this is really our first session that we are creating for introducing CatGS. So uh, let's get started by uh, searching for CatGS in Google. In here you can see all kind of uh, links that you can explore and read about us. But let's uh, get started with the, uh, our site. In the title you can see that CatGS is an open source automation framework for mobile web application testing. You might have heard about uh, other technology in that area, like Selenium, uh, Cucumber, Jasmine, and such. We're bringing a new approach and uh, technology to that area. I'm not going to say much about it right now, else then you're going to see how fast and easy it is to create your test and maintain it. Uh, you don't need to switch between uh, development environment. You don't need to be part of a certain life cycle. You're going to get a rapid and dynamic environment for creating your application. So let's get started by going to the NPM site. NPM it stands for Node Package Model. And uh, this is a Node.js technology. So if you haven't installed already Node.js, go to Node.js site and in here you can see how you should get started and install Node.js. The NPM uh, is part of Node.js in installation so don't get stressed about it. You're going to get NPM as well. And I mean by that that you get to have NPM in your command. You can see a node which is Node.js command. Uh, so that's about, sorry, that's about Node.js. In this session I'm going to give you the very basics that you need for getting started for uh, creating a test with CatGS for your application. So let's get started by reading this readme. I'll go over it and until this section, the quick start. So I've prepared a really nice application that does nothing but uh, giving you some text about Hello World. Uh, let me let me show you what how it's look like. You see, nothing much. And if you click on it, you just put it in red and adding another test that say I was clicked that's as for my lovely application and what I'm going to do is creating a test for uh, that application I'm going to show you how easy and fast it's going to be so let's go and see first we need to install CatGS command line so let's go to the console and type the same as we can see in here. This process might take a few moments. I just want to add that minus G flag is, uh, goes for um, global. It means that you'll get to have CatCLI command in your system path. If you encounter any problem during the installation, let us know and we'll uh, do our best to help you out. Okay, it's done. Let's clear out the console. From that point, let's see what, what's next. Then create a new project with the CatGS tool. Means that we are going to create a new project for a test project for our application. So below CatGS video training folder, I'm going to show you there is iApp1. So let's get into that folder. And in here, in here we we see uh, another folder which is the content of our application. In that place, I'm going to create the test uh, project. So let's write catcli minus i for init. And now we we just need to insert the name uh, of the project. It's going to be iapp test. 
and um, we leave the, the server with the defaults and um, the path is actually the, the path where your uh, application folder exists and now I will show you that CAD.js have created for us a folder named cat-project and inside you'll find everything you need for creating your test deployment cat project json is the most important file it represents your project and you can see everything that we are filled in in the prompt in that file you can go ahead and modify it if you need so this was an introduction for CAD.js. We saw how to get started and install it, how to create a new project for our demo application. In the next session, we are going to continue and go over the README file and we'll see how to create a new test for our demo application. Thank you everybody.